welcome back to another Welsh adventure. This time we are at the Welsh Mountain Zoo, right at the north of Wales, and I cannot wait to get stuck in. Lots of rare breeds in here, stuff you don't usually see at other zoos. Well, from my experience anyway, if you're a fan of the channel. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started. I'm Tom. I'm Lucy. And this is the Welsh Mountain Zoo. And we start off with an incredible view across the Welsh hills. Here's a map of some of the things you can expect to see. Welsh Mountain Zoo opened its doors to the public in 1963, which was the dream of the zoo's founder, lifelong wildlife enthusiastic Robert Jackson.
bear paws. These are the size of the female ones. Got the same size hands as a bear. <laughs> well, he's got longer thumbs. Not that they have thumbs, but you know what I mean. <laughs> This is a charity zoo. Every penny of your admission goes to running the zoo, looking after the animals and their conservation and education work. And that is 
the Mountain Welsh Zoo. Absolutely brilliant. Big enclosures, loads of homes for them. Um, just, yeah, definitely worth a visit if you're here. I mean, it's quite small, but the amount of endangered animals they got here is great. And it's great for conservation work and what they're doing here. They're doing a good job. So yeah, get yourself down here and uh, have a look at some of the rare side of animals. Very interactive as well. And a lot of people they are, uh, a lot of people here do a lot of the shows and timing and feeding. So you still get to see everything. But um, yeah, what a magnificent place. I would definitely be returning if I'm in the area. Have you enjoyed it, Luce? I enjoy that they have a brown bear here, which they don't really have at other zoos that we have been to. But while you're here on the channel, do us a favour. Like and subscribe. <laughs>